Thorak claiming to have enthralled the party just left or trying to leave the building has opened up unfortunately leaving the prison cells yeah you cast fog in the prison cells now you're going out into the open forge area mm -hmm. yeah and you you actually see um veil being dragged out just a bit before you um and right at this period uh you know you would see Leria dragging uh, him out just just coming out of the fog you have a little bit of a, a, a speed advantage of course on her yeah. so now it's your turn at this time, the yelling and the commotion, um, forges are starting to get in, and there's a little bit more guard presence than before. You see some of them starting to string their bows, like, what's going on, like, uh, just to be ready, you know? What's going on here? What was that? What's going what's on here? So, Forak, it's your turn. Um, <laughs> rushing forward, um, I'm going to uh, cast Armor of Agathus, or whatever I was going to rename it for myself. To uh to cover myself in that like gray dark mm. uh, energy and whatnot like moving forward and as I run past like the forge like moving past the forge casting the spell if there is a weapon sitting there whether it be I, I prefer an axe but these are elves so they don't know how to handle real weapons so probably a short sword or something I was gonna say you you, will, you definitely would find a short sword when you get to the I would bottom. grab grab this uh, dagger I mean short sword <laughs> um off of uh, off of like one of the counters and like make my way along. Uh, calling out for the uh, the character's name, which don't tell me is Lariath. I'm coming for you. Oh no, we don't. Uh, what was the what was the other the teeth? You name? don't never remember her name. She told you her name, but whatever. She did. Oh she no, Lariath is damn. She's Lariath like, is the woman who's up there chasing you. You were yeah, here we to. Know, we know. Yeah. That's still good. I That's still badass. I, I'll yeah. allow it. Caitlin, correct your name. <laughs> Caitlin. Okay. Caitlin. No, no, I'm coming for you, lover of Lariath. There you go. Okay, Caitlin would... She's like, basically, she doesn't have a clue what's going on now because Vale was trying to put, push her push her down as well. She would acknowledge yes. that. But she would... She, her face is like completely a whirlwind of... She doesn't know what's going on. She's half... She's still in a half-broken state. But she would stumble out and try and follow them. Well, I mean, you can't... Oh, yeah, your door's open right now. Yeah, you yeah. can stumble out. She would stumble um... out and follow them, and just to... Not really... She doesn't even know what she's doing. She just, like... It, it, she's a woman of action. Yes. She is in, almost instinctively following. All right, so the, the guards don't notice you leaving because of the fog cloud. They actually are right behind Lelieth with their... Uh, they don't have bows. They're just kind of behind defensively. And the one with the the, the, uh, the more ornate short sword actually is like sort of rushing ahead, moving a little faster with the wind in their step, and they're chasing down. At this point, yeah, on the various uh, higher vantage points, the, bow, the, the bows are ready, the arrows are knocked. Some of them fire at him, but not as many as um, there will in the future. So... Dee 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 dee. And they have the vantage. And that is a horrifying miss with the first arrow. And <laughs> horrifying. Horrifying. Oh god, I've missed. We'll go, uh, uh, like, with all the commotion, yeah, there's a lot of yelling and okay, confusion I, I going on like outside. A breakdown now. Um, <laughs> I traded my time. So the two life arrows life. That, are, that sort of fly at him, they're obviously people who are firing way too quickly. They just swing wild, completely wild. Wow. Wow, thing. Speaking of the wild thing. There's a shield on the way, too. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. then there's Lariath, who is, is dragging Eravale along, and at this point sees uh, sees him, and um, what are you waiting for? Shoot him! Destroy him! And and of course they already were, but the, you hear around the room various acknowledgements because she's in charge, and then Vale is no longer served purpose. She actually kind of like throws him down the stairs. Vale, make me a deck save. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, this is where I roll a natty one and I die. <laughs> crack my, crack my neck. You gotta get, you get a good deck save. Uh, you're gonna take um, what? half gonna damage. I'm not even going down the stairs like that. No. 
It, it's basically it's she's it's thrown you. It's she's strong. So backflip and he lands on her head. Yeah, you do an amazing <laughs> so, move. You are still gonna take some damage just because of the way you were basically thrown down the stairs, bitch. I deck saved. You deck saved. Yeah, so you take half damage. So you end up taking six damage. That's not how stairs work. Do you want me to take back like that you take IRL. half damage, Neil? No. I mean, I'm not I've fallen out a couple of flights. <laughs> uh, Alright, and the, with oh, that, uh, she rushes down. She's easily within sprinting distance of Forak next turn. Forak. Your turn. Go for Forak. Forak's turn. You didn't tell me the damage. Six. 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 I know. Six damage. Forak, your turn. Scott. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna continue moving. Thank you, uh, Dean. Huh? Sorry, you just went. You were Wait, is there any way that I can know where this woman I'm going after is? Is there any way I can have found or known or is it, like I'm I'm trying to find out where she is, whether it be you actually can I'm see her. Out, I'm calling out who it is. What? You can actually see her. How far is she from me? Embrace the uh, purple skin tiefling. Is Embrace, that's her name. Embrace, at the like entrance husband. of the building, the very front door. Let's say ninety feet from you. All right, then with this turn, I'm going to, um, uh, because it's super important I succeed. With this turn, I'm going to cast Blade Ward and move. Okay. So this turn, I cast Blade Blade Ward and and move forward towards her. Awesome. Okay, she sees you. You two actually catch eye contact. Uh... What's kind of clear is that she doesn't understand necessarily what's going on, aside from you're trying to kill her if at this point. If they're catching eyes, can I toss her a can I like toss her like a look that she might be able to insight? Sure. Uh, give me just a flat charisma roll. I know the kind of thing you're trying to do. Like this is what you have to do, I imagine. Right? That's what you're trying to pass along. One reason or another, she continues casting her Eldritch Blast. Of course, sure. And it pulls me closer to her. No, she doesn't have that one. I love that one. And I would totally let them have it, even though it does, it's not that kind of thing. It's a hit, but it's like a grazing hit, because it's probably the, the it, it, it traveled through like uh, a table of what sits on the way, and, and the blast still hit you, but weakened down. Yeah, okay, yeah, what sits on crisp in, America, in the UK? That's what you're laughing at. I'm um, this. Other crisps are available. Crisps? Yep, quavers are good. I'll, I'll say that. So you end up taking three damage, Forak, from the Eldritch Blasts. And, and again, there's a, a laughter in the air. And and she's looking back at you, and she's casting the stuff, in, in, and there's actually two guards either side of her, because, yeah, she was, like, nearly killed. Um, so they're protecting her. Yeah, there is that look. She's actually kind of staring at you, and, and maybe she doesn't know necessarily what you're trying to tell her, but she's definitely receiving it. Caitlin, you can leave the fog. Um, no one's paying you any mind. You look down in the forge. Forak is just taking a sword, running in, casting spells. I imagine like uh, he's he's coated in stone, then this dust and ash, and probably smoldering uh, embers from the forge, and all this stuff is building up over his body as he's running in all his might towards Embrace. You can actually see her at the other side of the room. Go, Caitlin. Um. Oh God. <laughs> right. So this obviously seems a pretty impossible situation, mm-hmm. but Caitlin doesn't really know what's going on. She sees Forak, as far as she can tell, attempting to complete the mission. She is obviously armorless and weaponless. Yeah. But this is still this is still Caitlin. She is still has a protector's instinct. She is going to run after them, try and grab a weapon as she goes, mm-hmm. and try try and run after run after Forak towards her. Again, you can actually take a short sword; that's absolutely fine. You're just a bit actually with the the slow speed of Forak, you are right beside him running at this point. So then it's the guards, and this. I'm only five feet slower. Yeah, yeah, but with all things combined. And imagine you're also yeah, maybe casting moving, spells. She was casting she was spells. Dashing, you're also like yeah, plodding yeah. very dramatically. Yep. I'm going to get Caitlyn killed, but it's what she do. Oh, for God's sake. 
Rip Caitlyn's journal. The last last entry is just gonna be covered in blood. Yeah. <laughs> That's Teller. Sorry, I, I like tried to, to do some stuff and I completely balked it, so I'm actually going to do something else. This is way easier. So here's all the guards shooting at him. Um, what's your armor class right now, Florak? It's 20. 18. Right? Oh, 18. Um, so, altogether, only one uh, arrow strikes true. Would you believe it? Thank God. It's 18 AC. Yeah, 18 AC. It's really big, especially against, you know, um, People random arrows, you know, it, random, yeah. random bowmen. Uh, their guards are not great. And now it's only a graze at two damage, which is half to one damage. Uh, but the guy behind you with the, the, the wind sword, he gets up to you with no problem and he dashes and splashes sure. at you. Is he attack? Yep. Yeah. Uh, I'm just rolling some stuff real quick. Uh, can I get added in at some point so I can move Just around? roll initiative with your token. I want to be it. added in. Is this another combat Dean is not going to be a part of? Because he's like, I wouldn't be a part of this. So I mean, I'm just going to hang right. back. So, uh, yeah, this guy absolutely hits. He dashes with great speed and just stabs you in the back for seven damage. It's a horrifying wound. Um, and then it's Lairus' turn, who does the same uh, with. Uh, uh, it is. <laughs> Veil Skimitar. That's not cool. Yeah, it's I not really that, that cool, sword. is it? And oh, unlike Vale, who wielded it with uh, strength and dex with dexterity, this is like a brute force, like. <laughs> slash! Dealing six damage is just like cut some way into Thorax's arm. And he Did the first going. person hurt me or no? Yeah, the first seven, guy hit you for seven. seven. This guy hit you for uh, so seven divided by two is six. So is is three. Mm -hmm. And this so is also zero. three. So altogether, you ended up taking six damage. And now it's the your first turn. person. The first person is going to take um, uh, five points of necrotic damage for oh, hitting me. Gross. He he visibly recoils as I imagine it's like a cloud of of rot. Is launched back at him and he's like, oh, no. <laughs> Demons! <laughs> Elvish word for demons is thrown around a lot. Forak, it's your turn. Damn it, you're slowing me down. Okay, so knowing that you, people move at half speed through fog, um, I'm going to throw a fog cloud so it encompasses like behind me, Caitlyn, okay. all that stuff, but only like barely in front of me. So as I'm casting it, it's like out. I'm already running out of it. Okay. So it slows them down, but doesn't mm -hmm. slow me down. And then I'm going to keep moving forward. So sadly, I only get a single move instead of a double move this yeah. turn because I have to do You'll that. You'll make it to her next turn with a double move. And uh, at the same time, nobody can see this. So I, I'm just going to tell you I'm using an ability. And then I'm going to say I'm rolling a d6. But that's it because no PCs can see anyway. So. Okay. He's being creepy. But you, but you, you know what it is. He's placing his trap card. I don't remember what it is. That's okay. We'll see what it is later. Embrace Pitfall. shoots at Thorak. Why is it not recognized? Oh, because I'm typing it into Twitch. You're trying to... Oh. oh, I was going to say. <laughs> what? That's funny. So, Eldritch Blast against Thorak just barely hits for five damage. Caitlin, you are immediately confused thrown into fog again and with you being the only person in there you know it's not their turns the guards are kind of piling on you um well i would i, I would um self-defense basically you would self-defense <laughs> huh i would oh, really? self-defense she's not in her, she's not in her right mind this is the problem if she was in her right mind she wouldn't be doing this but um uh, da, da, da. I don't have a short sword on my thing, so I'll just roll okay. a 1t plus 6. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I miss anyway. Yeah, oh, you I would swing, have had disadvantage anyway. So. You, you, you swing, you you, you miss. You're, you're all kinds of confused about the entire situation. You kind of came out of this place in a daze because you were in your own head so much. And then you're yeah. thrown into the darkness and you're being attacked by 
who knows who, uh, Thorak is being shot at by the archers. And get hit. Three times, two of them are crits. Two headshots. Oh, I'm, I'm RIP for It's all rack. over. Oh. So I, I don't, I don't, I don't play out my mission. It's all over. And that's twenty six points of damage altogether. To yeah, Thorak. I, I have no uh, half damage. I have no temp HP. Everything's over. Uh, that's negative four. That's negative fourteen. So I'm unconscious, but it doesn't matter. Um, because uh, saving doesn't really matter at this point. They're this totally going to make sure that I die. Yeah, they are firing down at you. Um, yeah, yeah, so I'll be dead with arrows. Arrows sink in over and over. Um, I will give uh, Vale, uh, Vale, then Gilwin, then Caitlin a chance to do something. Vale. Right. So it took me one turn with her dragging me to get down to where we were. Yeah. I'm going up to the cells. Uh, you know, there's the table on the side with their uh -huh. bits and bobs. Um, I am going to grab my pistol, etc. And then I'm going to point my pistol at the weakened fixings of, um, of Gilwin's uh, cell. And <laughs> Yep, I'm not even going to have to make you roll for that. There's, I mean, it's a horrifying noise in a fairly small space. Yes. You've got big ears. Uh, that's going to be some uh, tinnitus moments. But yeah, the, the, the cell that goes, whether Gilwin uh, is a, uh, wants to get out or anything, then it's Gilwin's turn. What are you doing? I have a bonus to dash. Oh, if you want to dash out of the room again, yeah, feel so free. So I'm saying, follow me. We're running. And then I'm dashing. Uh, I will try and grab my loot and rip you. Uh, yeah, so basically you can spend, like, the beginning of your turn and you can, like, scoop your... It's all roughly in bags, so you can, like, scoop it roughly in your bag and you might misplace a few things we'll do with that later, but yeah. I will emulate what, um, okay. build and then literally... Rush out, out after him? Yeah. Caitlin, you are in the fog being attacked by the guards. The guards are attacking you. I'm not going to roll that right now. Um, you actually hear, like... The demon's down! It coming from Elvish from, from outside, and, and then um, actually a call of who wait! and stuff like that from outside and, and lots of yelling in Elvish. I would, um, yeah, just yell, Sephorak, and sort of sort of try and make my way out of a cloud in the direction I know he was going, even though I'm under attack, because it's like, okay, oh god, I've got to hear you'll it. get some opportunity attacks against you, unfortunately. I am um, dead. <laughs> so fucking dead. Yeah, but they are also blinded, so it might be fine. Sword slices her back. She looks yeah. up and sees what was once her friend. You get a tick. You get, you get hits once. But a hedgehog. <laughs> Bear in mind, I didn't take a long rest, so I've still got. So you take damage five from damage time. from from okay. trying to escape the fog, and you do escape the fog, and you see Thorak. He's he's falling to the ground with an an arrow in the neck, arrow in the head, and another arrow in the chest, and some other arrows. Uh, uh. Uh, uh, what you see is Thorak go to the ground and maybe roll onto his side, as embraced the tiefling that the Fey tiefling woman walks up, and looks down at him. Uh, with eye contact, and she's the one who called wait, and then she builds up the the green and the pink energy, and just holds like and blasts, and there's not much left. What a bitch! Is it still my turn or? No, no. At That's this good. point, I mean, I unless don't know what I do. at this point, <laughs> combat's over? Question mark? As yeah, she blasts with Elgin's blast over and over, causing the 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 kill shots on Forak. So, uh, Va I'll say Vale and Gilwin, you also can clearly see this. You can see this. You can hear this. There's a laughter echoing in the air from it as well, and then a cheering. It's not like a cheering of like it's not a super loud cheering, but yeah, there, there's huzzah. A cheering. Yeah, it's not like a yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a way more re re respectful, quiet cheering. But yeah, it's that's e exactly. We've seen Pirates of the Caribbean. Huzzah! So, Huzzah. Um, Gilwin and Vale, what do you wish to do? 
You got your stuff I'm in your arms. Gil win. Uh, so yeah, we we built, built, grab what we can. Rip my scimitar. God damn you gods. Um, uh, I'm leading Gilwin round a way that won't lead us past them mm -hmm. to the stables. Uh, we, uh, I'm going flat out speed. Okay, so uh, I'm going to need just to do... enough so Gilwin can maintain. Yeah, I'm going to need you to do a perception roll and a stealth roll. And Gilwin, give me a stealth roll as well. The perception roll is you trying to find basically a clean way out. And um, Caitlin, give me a perception roll as well. Perception. Stealth. Mm. Now you see them, Caitlin, clearly get out of there, and then maybe it's because you clearly like you 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 stare at Thorak fall and then turn and see them. Maybe that's what leads the rest of the guards to see them. An arrow or two or four fly and land right at Gilwyn's feet, God. and he. I, I assume you two stop, or do you uh, keep uh, yeah. running, Vale? I should also say the cat would just like at this point she would just sink to her knees and mm -hmm. like actually like start there be like slight tears. Yeah, at this coming, point you are like everything... arrested all over again. Yeah, as at this point she thinks everything is just ruined. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bale, uh, they're, they're shooting at Gilwin. Clearly, clearly not kill shots. Uh, aiming to kill. Uh, so I've made it. Stopping? So I've made it past their line of sight, basically. You and I can look could have and I can stopped if you wanted to, but yeah, they're basically arresting Gil now, and, and I think Gil is not running. But you know, it's it's the kind of like they're full on tackling him, arresting. Caitlin, at least they're kind of being they're not gentle, but you know, standing. They're like Gil and tried to run. They're like taking him down. They're not trying attacking him, but like slam, drag, back up. Bale's gonna, he's gonna, he he's notices this and he gives Gilda and then he's off. Okay. <laughs> he's off so, to the horse. Uh, so, quite some time later, uh, you two are taken to a prison cells separately, two different ones, and you're actually on opposite sides of the room. You could talk, it wouldn't be easy. You wouldn't really be able to hear each other over the noise of them trying to deal with whatever the hell was going on. You don't know where, how long it was. Probably around seven hours. It was night time by the time um, someone goes up to you. And it's actually the tiefling woman. With a guard escort. So... You're free to go. Uh, the... Uh, Undead that was enthralling you, you know, the the spell is broken. You're not going to be harming anyone again, are you? Because the spell is broken, right? You too? She got it. She got it from the eye contact. Cat would, Cat would just look up, like, almost in wonder, because she has no idea that what was going on. So she just looks up in wonder, having been, like, back to broken again for most of that time, and just... She wouldn't actually do anything. She'd just stare. <laughs> and what about you? And looks at Gilwyn. No. So. You two are free to go. Now your 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 other friend, the Solar Elf, uh, he 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 is wanted. Um, but. I'm sending out hawks with messages. It should be fine. It should all be fine. Your nightmare has ended. I think. For now, anyway. It never really ends, does it? That's life for you. <laughs> hmm. So, uh, and she kind of like taps the chest plate of one of the guards. So, uh, let them out. And he's like, are you uh, sure? Are you sure? I'm like, yeah. Remember when... Uh, Larry Fagas told you that you do anything I say. Yeah, you you, you let them out. Remember, we we've been through, we've been over this, and they they do. They let you out, and they let you to your things, and also to uh, uh, forex things. Yay! What about what about Vale Scimitar? Is it there? Vale Scimitar is not there. Forex oh. doesn't own much. He's no, kinda... I was gonna say there's not much you can get from Forex Belongings. It's like you hold this backpack. Yeah, like, yeah. There's rope in there, but oh god, it's gross. <laughs> 
<laughs> is there anything? Is there anything that could be taken as a keepsake, or is it literally? Uh, let me let Thorak basically just yeah. say if there's anything his, you want. His oh, the, little stone jar. The, the jar. His stone jar that has his his actual real life yes. name on it. You can. You can I would. Take that. I would pause. Uh, I would pause over his stuff, like considering because I have no idea really that. And uh, but I would pick up the jar and just look at it and then add it to my stuff. So I feel so guilty about having to leave. Well, the girl I I really <laughs> would love to give you some hospitality, but you need to leave quite quickly. Um, also, uh, I, I I I I believe I figured out who you're working for for a ghast. Um, you you might be able to come back. But if you're still working for the core Aghast family, there might be trouble. Uh, considering um, what, what, what was happening, they, they, they wanted you to kill me because I'm a bad influence. Really, really me? I'm not a bad influence. Although death does seem to surround me now, doesn't it? But uh, Lariath seems to have taken offence to that. And the people here are more loyal to her than they are to the family. So um, if you come back here, still under Aghast. They might fire upon you, and I will be in no power to stop them. So, you can go back to your lady, say whatever you want. Honestly, make up a story that sings well. Maybe, maybe you'll be fine. Or, what would be smarter is take to the fucking wind. Now get out of here. Quickly. And she, she turns with the guards and leaves. And the guards leave you alone. Cat would stand there for a couple of minutes, just trying to take it all in, and then she she'd like um, turn to Gil. So Gil, I I can't return to House Agast, not like this. I I'm going. I, I suppose I'll go to Goldport, try and complete Valrorian's task. Maybe oh that will. Really got nothing left. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that'll get me enough favour to get back in. Maybe Lady, maybe they won't tell Lady Dupander all of this. I don't know, but I can't go back empty-handed and try and explain this. And then she would just, she, she not barely even waiting for a response. She would just turn and leave. Pro, a little, a little, still a little bit shakily, but she would. It would be back to a, a slightly more determined mm -hmm. Caitlin normal gait sort of thing. It's like I've got a goal. I know what I'm yeah. doing now. Yeah. I'm doing it. Okay. Gilwin. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't respond. Okay. I'd just let her walk away. I'd just sort of stand there for a couple of minutes. Okay. Uh, Caitlin, when you go to leave Fafamel, you notice that the proud aghast flags be torn down. They still have the Iradian flag, but the flags of the uh, house are, are torn, off, torn off. Burnt off, most of them. Oh, God. There's no way this isn't going to get back to the main house. No. <laughs> we so, just fucked you up. You can so easily much. leave. Uh, you just literally just get on your horse and go. <laughs> she would start in the direction of Goldport. I think Caitlin would know, having seen that the flags had gone, she would know that this is basically a fool's errand, but mm -hmm. she has nothing else that she can even try and do. Okay. So she's going to try and pursue this you just, off charge. You take off on the road on the only quest you have left. Yeah, basically. Okay. Uh, Makes sense, winning. honestly. It's like one of those things no, you lost so many faction yeah. points. You're trying to, it's like, I, I couldn't win the 110. I'm going to go for the 50 yeah. to make yeah. up for the loss of 35 or something like that. You know? Yeah. It's like, oh, at least I get the gain of 15. Huh? Is, is there like any other guard in the room? No guards are in the room, but there's a lot outside. Go is there, hang yourself. Is there anything left of uh, any of the, like, of Forex remains? Any of his belongings? His belongings are almost all there. Like, the bag's there, but the only thing of interest... <laughs> his whiskey would be there. I'll take his whiskey. Yeah, his whiskey I, I also yeah. had my smith tools, which, you know, are super important to me. Um, but daggers... You could just take all this stuff if you this want. Gold, like, I don't care about the, the carry gold, weight for this. You know what's funny is, is uh, Dean, if you want, you and I on the side can say, fuck Ollie. I have written on my character sheet that I want Electrum piece. You like, you know what? There was one Electrum one piece One Electrum there. piece. Where'd that, that <laughs> Where'd that come from? Where'd that come from? It's like Electrum isn't really even legal tender, but it's like it technically is. So you hand it to someone and like, well, oh, 
pun. It's All like right. handing someone a £50 note. Yeah, it's exactly <laughs> handing someone a £50 note. They can't really, really complain, but they don't want it. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, in that and case, they always then have to check whether or not it's real. Yeah. They can't <laughs> so, what are you doing, Gilwin? In that case, then I'll take the electron piece. I guess me and Forak have spoken about that before. Yeah, uh, and I'll I'll take the whiskey, um, and a couple of tears. Oh. Uh, and I guess I'll just walk. Which I'll way? Just walk. You, which way are you leaving? So you're not even taking your horse. You're just leaving by foot. There's only one way yeah. out of the the, the, the city, and there's so only really one south road. Towards the main road. Um, yeah, south towards the main road, but that that road towards Ugh. the main road is pretty twisting and wind winding because it's going Sorry, up no. the mountain. I, I mean, I... I'll I'll walk to. I'll definitely take the horse. I was gonna say. Can sure. I take a stealth roll? Are you still in the in the in the building? No, 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 no. So what I, what I want is to have to have charged out of the the area like a battle of hell, but I want to camp somewhere along the main road, but not near it. I need. To no, stay. I think that's well. That's actually well and truly fine. You can be doing that. Um, you actually are seeing Caitlin go past right now. Why you aren't troubled? Why you don't need to do a stealth roll? Aside from hawks and messenger pigeons and things, no one's left. They, this, pursuing, they haven't yeah. left. They're focused inside right now. So yeah, you you can see Caitlin go past right now. It's entirely up to you whether you bother Caitlyn, but I'm fairly sure you're going to bother Kill Gil. But Gil isn't with Caitlyn. You see Caitlyn on her own. Probably hasn't even put her armor on yet, but it's probably hanging yeah. off the side of the horse. So I'm like crouched on a tree branch with a long bow, with an arrow. I watch Caitlyn go by. Oh. And I let Caitlyn go by. Okay. <laughs> so then, probably around 20 minutes or so later, Gilwyn goes by as well. And Gilwyn, Gilwyn's just trotting along on his horse, and an arrow just goes thunk in front of his horse, about about horse ten meters in front, about ten. Not meters Not very in front spooked of the horse. though, but stops just obviously. Goes, thunk. Cool. I, I will look around immediately. Bale like slides down the tree, and he, he like hops out onto the path and gestures. <sighs> I get off the horse, and. So we walk towards Vale, looking down. Not looking at Vale. I'm just looking at the ground. Well, Gil, uh, that will be one for a song, eh? The flight from Fafamel. <sighs> I, uh, I do not know whether you want to come with me, but uh, I saw Caitlin go by. And, uh, I let her go. Uh, Forak is... is he's... Uh, I know. Passed on. I, uh, I'm not entirely sure what to do with myself now, but uh, I can't really stay in the Elven realms with what I've done, and neither can I return to Aradia. So I figured perhaps I would head north, round the mountains to Northenden. If you wish to come with me, I would be glad to have a companion on the road. I will do my best to look after you. Forak died because I didn't want to go to Goldport. Forak, Forak died because I was scared of my hometown. Forak chose this. He did this for uh, for us. It was what he wanted. It was a noble thing, and we should do our best to honor him by drinking shit whiskey and. <laughs> And living our life as as he would want us to. He was a dwarf, you know, and uh, I can't say I've met too many that I'm fond of. But uh, he was a bit different, no? And I don't just mean the whole missing uh, missing body parts thing. He was my best friend, and the last words I said to him were not very nice ones. I need to. I need to find out. <laughs> I need to find out his real name. I need to find out where he comes from. <sighs> Do you know anything to get started? I think he had something with an inscription on it, if you know where that is. Caitlin went by not long ago. Uh, was it one of his possessions? Yeah. Yeah. 
what did it look like? Uh, like a uh, sort of just a, a jar. Was this on the set of bags at all? It's too small to tell. Too small to tell. It, it, the, the only way you would have noticed if Caitlin was holding it, was she? She wouldn't have been. No, no. she would have put it in her stuff. And, exactly. And it, it would have just been a keepsake. Yeah. Because she, 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 she didn't know, know the importance that yeah. Gilwyn did, aside from that it was important, right? I love That's that. I what do, she I was it. laughing when he was asking about it because I was like, oh god, I just picked up the one thing with the. Yeah, it's, so, it's cool, it's cool. The, the, the so, yeah. Yeah. You, you two can very easily logically conclude, like. Well, no, no, no. So, huh? yeah. so Gil's gonna say, oh, it's, it's like a black jar. And Vale's gonna be like, I didn't see that. And he's gonna go, yes, she was, uh, she had that on her when, uh, when she left. That gives us somewhere to start. No, you, you must cheer up for Forak. We must follow, and, and we can get the jar and see what the inscription says, and from there you can you can help him. You can write a song about him. Uh, he like puts his arm about it, and he, he leads him sort of to the other horse that he's got, and he, he starts making preparations, and he's like doing his best. <laughs> like he he feels like he obviously is much older than uh, and Gil, and he feels like he's like the new dog on the ship, and he feels a bit sorry for him. Yeah, I, like, I totally get it. Like, He's trying to give him like something to something to get started. It's like some... he's dealt with death way more, and he's like, "Okay, I'm gonna be positive, so that maybe it'll rub off on you," kind of thing. Yeah, I get you. I imagine Gilwin doesn't necessarily say no. anything or appreciate it, but you know, do you let hit? Do you listen to him? Do you go with him? So you think Caitlin has this? Yes, I'm sure she did it. Uh in some sort of misplaced gesture to remember him by, but uh, I'm sure she would not be bothered if you wished to possess it. Uh, you knew Forak probably the best out of all of us. It's probably what he would have wanted. Did you at least get something to remember him by in the meantime? Uh, yeah. Good. Uh, and when we find the jar, and when we find where he's from, we can take it and we can bury his ashes with the, well, bury the jar with uh, where he was from. You will do everything you can for, for Forak, Gil. You, you cannot feel guilty about his decision. He did it for us and we, we need, to, need to do our best to honor that by moving on. And, well, I would say a song is, is an excellent way to start. I've not got much skill with these things, but perhaps we can come up with something on the road. <laughs> Shitty. Yeah. Bell, sh shut up. Let's just go. Give him a slap on the back and then mount horse. Start trying away. Okay. So. Oh boy. That. Okay. It was a TPK, That's just it wasn't the TPK. end of the session <laughs> and the end of a house affair. Right. Who really knows what's happening next? Or whatever it is. Did you wrap up an entire chapter, chapter in five sessions? Uh, seven. This is the seventh ch session. Oh, Jesus Christ, I don't know time. Nah. Well, you missed two of them, didn't you? So it, it's uh, it like I said, chapters oh, are a big one. tonal Mid. shift. This yeah, is a yeah. big tonal shift. Who knows what's going to happen next time? <laughs> Although I, so but you know what I do know, what my friends do. Uh, Neil, tell us about yourself. Uh, so I know. Um, <laughs> so I. I uh, I finished the Indiana Wednesday and I go and curl up in a ball on my bed. Right? <laughs> uh, uh, so um, this is this is the only sort of uh, presence on streaming I have. Um, I love it. It's great. It's really fun streaming with these guys. Uh, it's really sad streaming with these guys. Apparently, um, <laughs> I know that Dean, Ollie, and Scott all put in a lot of work for this. Uh, and I mean. I hope you guys agree that I thought that last sort of, this last session of content was really good, really quite emotionally charged. I know Dean was starting to tear up and I was having to hold him back. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I'm on social media, Twitter, at uh, naghite underscore 
same as my um, Twitter handle. Oh, that's how you say it. it. Yeah. Uh, so it's underscore afterwards. Uh, Naghai underscore. If you want to tweet me, ask any questions, feel free. Uh, maybe in a few years the, there'll be a little comic brought out about Gil and uh, <laughs> and Bale's adventures. Um, you know, just like a couple of pages, just a teaser. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> until then, I will hand over to to next person. The next person is down. It's Dean. Dean. <laughs> Fucking Dean. You're amazing. I love you. Tell us about you, but not too much. Yeah, an uh, acceptable amount. When I'm not, Jeez. when I'm not making myself cry about <laughs> fictional dwarven characters who I've known for seven weeks, <laughs> I, I'm writing YouTube videos about old games and making <laughs> penis jokes. What a what a change! <laughs> uh, and this Friday on uh, Judge Mathis, the YouTube channel, um, Mathis and I are looking at well, not I, but Mathis is looking at um, top seven reboots, but I'm <laughs> editing it. So you'll see my hands flying around the screen or whatever. Hey. Um, and I'm Dean Cutty everywhere. All right. Speaking it's of everywhere, Dean Cutty. someone who is everywhere, <laughs> especially my heart, Arvine, down here. Tell me about yourself. But you can well, tell me a bit too much. Yes. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> when I'm not making characters who make terrible life decisions and <laughs> break easily... Um, I am just some random dude <laughs> who happens to roll into Ollie's D and um, more friendly D and D, so I got a free pass onto this show. Um, yeah. I am Arvine with a triple E in the middle on Twitter and a lot of other services. If you want to ask me any questions about the world, about what <laughs> fuck Caitlin is currently thinking, a feel lot free. Of other services. So you know, <laughs> if you want to go on uh, XXX Cam and search yeah. Arvine, there you go. Uh, no. That's only on Friday. <laughs> That's Too right. sad for that. Googling. <laughs> Googling. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm not the most interesting person, so the more interesting people are Ollie, Scott, and um, Dean, whose name I temporarily forgot there. You, so, But you are nice, Arvine. That's I am, what matters. I am nice. Holy shit, you're flexible. Speaking <laughs> of people who aren't nice, for, I mean Delray. Who are you? Um... Yeah, that was like, oh, it was emotional. It was a bit of a roller coaster right there. I, I won't go over uh, a ton. Um, I'm just going to say, one, I'm going to have to do a, a character gen stream because that was mm. that. was that. Was that. Maybe Ollie or, or somebody else, if they have the time, can join me. Yeah, for I'll it probably and hang I'll out. try and join you for that if I can. Yeah, yeah. If not, so that's you cool. do it on American time? Or... Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll be there. Well, I mean,. Yeah. It, uh, yeah, it depends what if you do. It's American time. Work for the yeah, next no way. Days, yeah. I do it. But but if uh, if Ollie joins you for it, then Ollie can always throw it up on his YouTube channel afterwards and, and whatever. So mm-hmm. um, anyway, so that that will be I will be streaming that, and then my birthday is actually this Saturday. So this Saturday I am turning Yay. older, and um and I think because uh, I talked to him about it, I think Mathis and I are going to be playing a video game together because we've literally never like. Like, I, don't, I don't know of any video games I've ever played with Mathis, aside from, like, maybe Halo back in the day at Keith's house. Because, like, we always played Dungeons and & Dragons or, you know, did other things together that we won't talk about on only Twitch. Like um, Werewolf. That. That one. It was lots of yiffing. I mean, um... <laughs> I'm surprised you know stuff. what that is. And and now I, I toss it off to... to I toss Ollie. Hi! I'm Ollie. Uh, literally... Uh, four hours ago, I said, well, five hours ago, at the end of Scott's stream, I said, my D&D game's a little dark. <laughs> um, and then this happened. Uh, <laughs> thank you, everyone who joined me for a chapter. Thank you to anyone watching live. Thank you to everyone who is watching on VODs, because we have a lot of people who watch on VODs, because apparently I stream at an unreasonable time. But screw you. Um, the next chapter, I'm not going to declare a name or anything yet. We might take next week off. It depends how quickly we get things set up. Um, I can but do things in the meantime, uh, <laughs> we in the meantime, uh, on Friday I do an art stream. On Tuesday I do an art stream at uh, both at those at 9 p.m. BST. Also afterwards I play The Sims because The Sims is great. That's the Sims is actually really good fun to watch. Yeah, I quite there's something that. fun about playing The Sims. Yeah. Just like I popped mates. in for 30 seconds and had my life ruined. 
<laughs> oh, you like, you popped in during the dance scene. I was about scene. to go live on Lost Initiative, and I, I popped by just to be like, oh, hey, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm hosting Ollie right now. That's cute. What the fuck? Yeah, no, you popped in during the dance crying. Which, which is the yeah. whole thing. two hours of your stream. I want to see it. Yeah, not in the first two hours. The last two oh. hours. So, wow. um, also, Aaron, at... Aaron, 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 learn your Aaron. timing, man. Whoa, so, too soon, Aaron. Learn your at, timing, Aaron. Uh, Jesus. At, God. After that, when we go no, live at Eberron, just... Eberron is super good right now. The Eberron story at late at, uh, it's actually 2 a.m. BSD for me. Uh, is really good. <laughs> if you want to see a character that is equally as weird as Forak, I play that. And then, on Sunday, I'm playing Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle. You can be like, oh, you're playing a rip-off of XCOM. No, it's fucking good. Just watch, like, the first, like, little bit of it, it's and it's like really fucking fine. XCOM. Yeah, it's... No, it's not. There's <laughs> more to it, baby. More to it. Just like Forak, but we'll never know. I know. Scott knows. Maybe he'll talk about it in the future. Maybe during the character gen stream. Or maybe... It'll come back to haunt you. All right, and with that, heroic death. that is the end of the Yavaskia House Affair. We'll be back in a week or two with the new chapter. Goodbye. Check Ollie's Twitter for updates. Yeah, yeah, yeah.